All right, so in this problem, I have nine to the power of x minus nine to the power of y is equal to 648. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by looking at x and y here. So obviously, by just from looking at it, we can state that x is going to be greater than y, because if f or sorry, if x was less than y, then our solution to this equation would be negative, and it's positive, so x is greater than y, meaning that we can say that x is equal to y plus some number k. So now, I can replace x with y plus k. So now I have 9 to the power of y plus y plus k minus 9 to the power of y is equal to 648. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 9 to the power of y plus k, that's going to equal 9 to the power of y times 9 to the power of k. I have this minus 9 to the power of y is equal to 648. Now I'm going to factor out 9 to the power of y. So I get 9 to the power of y times 9 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 648. Now 648, that's the same thing as 81 times 8. And if you notice here, 81, this is a odd number, and 8, this is an even number. So 9 to the power of k minus, or sorry, 9 to the power of y, that's obviously going to be an odd number, right? So we can say that 9 to the power of y is equal to 81, and 9 to the power of k minus 1, that's going to be an even number, because 9 to the power of k is an odd number, and an odd number minus 1 is going to be an even number. So we can say that 9 to the power of k minus 1 is 8. So now this gives me two equations, 9 to the power of y equals 81, 9 to the power of k minus 1 equals 8. So for 9 to the power of y equals 81, y is simply 2. And for 9 to the power of k minus 1, I add 1 on both sides. So I get 9 to the power of k is equal to 9, meaning k is equal to 1. So now that we have the value of y and k, well, remember x is equal to y plus k, meaning x is equal to 2 plus 1. So x is equal to 3. So x is equal to 3, y is equal to 2, and k is equal to 1. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be proving that 0 divided by 0 is equal to 2. So for my proof, first start with 0 over 0. Now, this is the same thing as 10, or sorry, 1 minus 1, right? Because 0 is the same thing as 1 minus 1. So I have 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1, which is 0 over 0. Now, this is the same thing as 10 minus 10 over 10 minus 10, right? Because 10 minus 10 is, again, 0. So I have 0 over 0 still. And this is the same thing as 100 minus 100 over 100 minus 100. Again, 100 minus 100 is 0, 100 minus 100 is 0, so it's 0 over 0 still. Now, 100 is the same thing as 10 squared. So 100 minus 100 over 100 minus 100, I'm going to write this as 10 squared minus 10 squared over, now over here for my bottom, I'm actually not going to write 10 squared minus 10 squared. Instead, I'm going to write 10 times 10 minus 10 times 10, which is, again, allowed. I'm just, 10 times 10 is the same thing as 10 squared. I'm just not writing it as 10 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b, 
times a minus b. So in this case, I have 10 squared minus 10 squared. So that's going to equal 10 plus 10 times 10 minus 10. And from the bottom here, from my denominator, I'm going to factor out 10. So I get 10 times 10 minus 10. Now, I'm going to cancel these two out. So I have 10 plus 10 over 10, which is equal to 20 over 10, which is equal to 2. So I just proved that 0 over 0 is equal to 2. So obviously, 0 over 0 is not equal to 2. And if you're wondering where the error is in this proof, it's in this step right here, when I canceled out the 10 minus 10 over 10 minus 10. 10 minus 10 is simply 0. So 0 divided by 0, remember, that's not equal to 1. We don't, 0 divided by 0, that's indeterminate. So I can't actually cancel these two out because that's simply implying that 0 divided by 0 is 1, which it's not. So this is wrong, and 0 divided by 0 is not 2. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x is equal to 36. So to start, I'm going to start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log 9 to the power of x is equal to log 36. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front. So that's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 9 to the power of x, and we can think of x as b. So we can move this to the front. And now this is going to equal x times log 9 is equal to log 36. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by log 9 so we can isolate x. So now I have x times log 9 over log 9 is equal to log 36 over log 9. So then these two log 9's simply cancel out. And I have x is equal to log 36 over log 9. Now, log 36 over here, we can rewrite as log of 9 times 4. And we have this over log 9. So if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. So in this case, I have log 9 times 4. And I can rewrite that as log 9 times, or sorry, log 9 plus log 4. Now I have this over log 9. So now, this is the same thing as log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9. Now, log 9 and log 9, these two obviously cancel out. So now I get x is equal to 1 plus log 4 over log 9. And log 4 I can rewrite as log of 2 squared. Log 9 I can rewrite as log of 3 squared. So now this is the same thing as 2 times log 2 over 2 times log 3. And the 2's can simply cancel out. So I'm left with x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 3. Now log 2 over log 3, that's the same thing as 0 0.301 over 0 0.477, which is equal to 0 0.631. So x is 1.631. 